Hello there. I'm going to work through the tune called Autumn Waltz that I wrote a couple of years ago because there's been a bit of interest in it recently. So I'll play the basic melody and then talk you through a few of the things that I add to this tune to make it interesting to play. Anyway, this is the tune. So put a harmony in to the B section um, when I play the tune of two or three times I add a little harmony particularly if I'm double tracking and this is the harmony section that I've written now Okay, so what do I do? The basic tune, I'll play the basic tune through. I'll try and go a bit slow so that if you're learning this tune and you, you don't read notation, you should be able to pick it up from, from this video. And then I'll show you the double stopping that I introduce into this tune to fill out the violin sound. So here we go, this is the basic tune. Notice when I was playing that, I, it's quite a swingy tune. This, so if you imagine your bowing is a bit like this. I shouldn't be too self-conscious about that. I should just try and remember that there's a nice sort of swing to this tune and if you can try and introduce that into your playing it makes a difference because this is a waltz and dancers do like to hear, hear a nice melody play with a, a little bit of a, a swing to it to, to give them that sort of motivation to get out, out of their chairs and dance around. So it's, there we go. Um, now the double stops. So I'll just play that tune again from the top. Now that's fairly bare bones stuff, but if you start to drone the open strings along with the melody, all I'm doing is droning the E string.
Now I'm onto the D string and I'm droning the A string. Now, down to the G string and I'm actually holding down. I'm holding down the first note on the G and the first note on the D string to give that sort of bar chord. go on to the open G and the open D and then moving up and when I play that part of the melody I'm actually hitting the open A then I put another bar chord down on the D and the A string in other words I put my finger on the first note of the D string and the first note of the E of the A string rather and then back up to the A and the E so I'll play that again I'll try and show you what I'm doing here on this um, video so you can see hopefully my, my where my fingers are going things there are to be able to hold down a double stop on the first note and of the G and the D string hold that down like a chord like a bar chord and the same thing on the D and the A and that gives you that additional facility to be able to drone a little bit more so that it brings power into your playing and the other thing is, of course, those first two notes. You've really got to catch those. section that once again it uses drone notes all the way through well, that's the basic tune and what you do then to, to drone that I tend to to put my ring finger on the third note of the D string and the first note of the A string there giving that nice chord that nice double stop and then I go up to droning the E string with the melody on the A string and then I drop down to the D string with the melody and I'm droning the A string so from the, from the top of the B things are trying to get those drones in trying to add uh, more volume trying to keep the, the tune nice and swingy it swings along nicely and hitting those initial notes on both the A section and the B six section that, that's it that's really quite important and then on the B section
you've really got to practice those double stops. You've really got to know you're going to hit the um, the third note on the D string and the first note on the A string. You know that you're going to have to hit those straight away. And the only way to get confident with that is to practice and practice. Uh, at first you're going to be slightly out of tune and so on and that sort of thing. But actually after a while you start to get used to it and your muscle memory develops. And so you know where these positions are on the fretboard or rather on the fingerboard. And the only other thing is that uh, harmony part that I put in. It's only of any use if you've got somebody else playing with you on the fiddle or if you have got a recording facility and you can double track, which is what I do. But um, basically the only the double stop there is the first note on the A string and the second note on the E string. So it sounds like this. I'm doing there is droning the A string and I'm droning the A string along and playing the melody on the D string and then back to that double stop There we go, that's the Autumn Waltz. So I'll play through it once again. Perhaps if I play through it slowly and put the double stops in and things like that, you'll hear how the tune can be played and then you can maybe play along with me. Um, I'll put the notation in the notes again and I'll try and show those double stops so at least you've got some idea what I'm playing on, on this fiddle. Okie coke, here we go. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye now.